Are you there? Go check. I'm good, man. How are you? I'm good. I didn't even ask you how you uh, how you were yet. Uh, you're, you're getting ahead of yourself, Lionheart. I just said, are you there for Hakai? I'm here. I'm here. Okay, good. Um, uh, so what the fuck is going on? You you on Brazilian chime now? You you I, I you you having a problem with your fucking kids? You're trying to put that ones to bed? Yeah, yeah. They, they when I'm gone, they don't like me. So they they uh. When I come home on the weekends from training camp, they, uh, they they remind me that they don't give a shit about what I'm talking about. Oh, because you're an absentee father. <laughs> That's why? I don't know about that. No, no, just uh, I'm, I'm here on the weekends because I'm, I'm trying to secure their futures. Yeah, but you, yeah, you're trying to bring home the bacon. I, I understand that, my brother, because these fucking kids out here is ungrateful. Um, they are. You know how I deal with the situation? I... I um, um. I cut them out of the equation. I, 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 I choose not to live with that one. So uh, when they visit me, it's a treat for that one. I set the bar low. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can do that. Well, that's, they know, that's your choice, my brother. That's, I live an alternative lifestyle. I, I choose to, to live that way. If, if people can be bisexual or, or, or be married to a man or, or whatever you want to do, why can't I have an alternative relationship to my kids where I don't see them as often? But that's true. I, I, I suppose. Yes. I suppose you Brazilians do whatever you want. Well, my my relationship with 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 my kids is between me and my God. All right. That's also right. Jesus Christ. Well, I, uh, I can't argue with yeah. Jesus Christ. And as the the Mexican uh, uh, preacher who I call Al Pastor, I don't know his real name. He goes, Jesus Christ. So thank you, Lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm turning my shit right so high here. I'm still working on this, my brother. It's been a minute since, you know, you have the, 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 the good fortune to be the, the first guest I've had in a long time here. Well, I'm happy to be here. I'm yeah. happy you wanted to talk to me. Well, of course. I mean, I didn't want to talk to you before, but now you got the John John, so now everybody your best friend. That's true. That's true. I'm surprised you didn't call John Jones. Well, John Jones, you know, I mean, he's been around. People already know what's the deal with John Jones. Uh, they're more interested uh, to lie and hush. You understand? Well, I, th I, I, I do. I think it's because I'm, I'm nicer. You don't like that guy? You think he's not a nice guy? Well, yeah, I don't know him. I don't, yeah. I don't know what kind of guy he is. You know, I just know, I just know John the fighter. And, yeah. and that's all I care about. You get, you're gonna get a chance to know that guy pretty soon, Poha Karayu. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna know each other real well here pretty shortly. When is the, uh, when is the fight I forgot? March 2nd. March 2nd, so that's coming up pretty soon. So what the fuck you doing here? You're supposed to be training. <laughs> I come home on the weekends to see my kids. Oh, that's, oh, I don't, wait. I don't, I, don't, I don't live the alternative lifestyle. Oh, Karayu, where are you training? I train in Denver. I just realized I was turning the the hung button up for you. Uh, you train in Denver. I train in Denver. Oh, uh, that's where they do a lot of alternative medicines over there. The, yes, yes, lots of those. There's a lot of alternative training over there, and uh, you, you so you getting the altitude over there. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you having the Denver nugget. And the Denver nugget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and the weed nugget, the the the, the all that stuffs. The whole shit's on the weed nuggets there. God, are you? But now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, some, I saw something where they're not gonna, they're not gonna make weed uh, a problem in the UFC anymore, or something like that. Honestly, I don't know. I don't, I don't smoke weed, so I don't. You don't partake. I don't, uh, I don't partake in the weed. Oh, because Jesus. No, I get weird. Oh, you get weird. Oh, you get paranoid. Yeah, I'm one of the weird paranoid. Weed smokers and it's just no fun. So I just stick to having, yeah. having Bud Lights and Modelo. I understand that, my brother. You know what the, the stuff is? Is I think um, I mean I'm not trying to sell you on marijuana. Far be it for me to do that. But I understand. Same um, that started to happen to me, you, Uncle Hanach. Like I, I used to smoke uh, a lot more, like in the high school days and and all that kind of stuff, and early early 20 and whatever. And and I started to get like it started to change for me, and I started to get you know some some. Uh, some paranoia, some anxiety and stuff, but I think it have to do with the quantity, you know, like, the, the weed is very strong these days, and I, I think that also, it's like, um, 
you, you you have a certain different kind of strain. You have a sativa, you have an indica, and all that kind of shit. So um, I think maybe you know you if you was probably smoking the past, you're probably smoking with some guys who is uh, who is used to taking bong hips and and uh, and doing a keef and a. Uh, whatever chief keef and wax and all that kind of bullshit and it's too much for somebody who's like uh it's too advanced you know for some yeah it's way it's, it's way too advanced it's yeah. uh so when i was younger i used to you know hang out with my friends and, and we'd smoke a little weed at the end of the night and, and it was all fun and you know it was, it was a good time but now you know i I've, I've tried to you know if i'm having trouble sleeping or whatever and i just get so goddamn high i get paranoid and i can't sleep and i'm up all night yeah i i i, I did that before you know when that's happened to me is i've had an edible and uh and then sometimes maybe if you don't pay attention to how much is in there God, are you, man? That, that you, you almost feel like you're having a mushroom trip or something. You start to yeah. you start to evaluate every fucking thing that ever happened to you, and you you hear some noises outside, and you think, you know, you think they're coming, you know, you think Eddie Bravo's coming in there to get you. <laughs> yeah. You're too high, and you think the earth is flat. Oh God, well that's a whole nother subject, at that <laughs> I'm fucking sick of talking about, so I'm not gonna even broach that subject. Uh, to, okay. to all my <laughs> life. To all my uh, Laranjinos out there who believe the earth is flat, no offense, but, mm, you know, um, in the, my, my, let's just say that my, my Laranja is, is not flat, you know, um, uh, the earth is it, my world, you know, uh, and the earth, right. the earth is a hound in my, in my opinion. I like the hound earth, I like the hound buttocks on women, and, um, and that's how it is to me, you know. I agree. I'm with you. Yeah, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend too much time worrying about whether or not it's, it's flat or how, because um, I got bigger fish to fry. I, I got I got Anthony Lionheart Smith on here. You understand? I do. I do. So my is round. Yeah, and we're here. Yes, we here, and we're not. We're gonna try not to be paranoid. Luckily, I didn't smoke uh, or took any edible, so we're gonna be okay. I think. <laughs> so uh, we're fine, right? Yeah, for now. Um, but you know, speaking of, so we're talking about that you are lightweight um, with marijuana. But you know, one of the reasons, you know, the, the the theme of the show today is a celebration uh, of Light Skin History Month. And light skin, I love it. Yeah, so February, a lot of people don't know. Only certain people know it's, it's uh, Light Skin History Month. And a lot of people don't know this, um, which is uh, going to be news to some of the people out there. But when I met you, I met you, uh, I mean, I've been a fan of yours for a long time, but I had never met you in person. And I had a, a hunch about you. But I never had to be confirmed, and a lot of people argue with me and said that I was wrong about this. But when I saw you, what was the first thing I asked you? Do you remember? <laughs> you you asked me if I was uh, if I was half black. I said that. I said, are you mixed? And I said yep. that in front of I said that in front of uh, the, the the studio. You know, like the the you know Karen Bryant and and um, who was there, Bisping and Ken Flo and the guys, all that shit. And yeah. what did you said? You said yes, and I said I knew yes. it. I said I knew it. And the rest of these guys is looking like not for you, Anthony. You you have black yeah. and Bisbing. He was he was shaking aback. And I said, listen. They said, how the fuck you knew that? I said, it's like it's like when gay people have gay dog. You know, they know if somebody's gay <laughs> yeah. I, because I'm a light skinned. Um, I know if somebody's a light skinned. Um, and right. it's just a, a, a superpower. I don't know what I can do. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to save the world or if the Avengers would ever to have me. But one of my superpowers, I can't tell if you've got any black in you. Oh, I do. My dad is my dad yeah. is black. Heroin addiction and all. What? He was have a heroin he addiction? He does. Still. What? So he like a black char heroin yes, as well? Yes, sir. So um, that's I, I mean I'm sad to hear that and um, I'm but I'm glad that you know you didn't you didn't fall fell victim to that yourself. But do you have a relationship with your father? No, not really. Mm. Is he aware of your success? Uh, yeah, yeah, he is. Is he? Have you ever got word that he's proud of you or nothing like that? Uh, yeah, he calls from time to time and and you know and and it usually ends up with him asking for money or or wanting me to do something mm. for him. You know, it's you know it's typical. You know, that's kind of how I think I yeah. think that happened a lot back in the eighties. You know, half uh, half black kids didn't come with dads back then. 
Yeah, that's a um, mm, that, that's a that's a tough uh, that's a whole nother you know shit. We could have a whole uh, podcast on that phenomenon. For sure. But um, in terms of the the drug abuse and stuff like that, you know, I have some some uh, some. Uh, experience with that because uh, I actually lost my older brother when I was 26 um, to, a, to a heroin overdose. Damn. Um, so, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, and uh, thank you, my brother. But you know, I um, he was you know m not only my brother but also my he was just my closest friend in the world and and um, so I understand like uh, the fucking disappointments that come with that the lying the. The not showing yeah. up, oh, yeah. uh, the 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 borrowing the money, the you know, the charming you um, to make you stop, you know, bothering them about, you know, what's going on, and and uh, you know, because you know, a lot of people think I I make a lot of jokes and say some funny stuff, but to, you know, nobody made me laugh harder than this fucking guy. So it was very hard to um, to hold his feet uh, to the fire because. He was very good to disarm me and to make me laugh and to uh, change the subject and shit like that. So I know it's, it's it's heartbreaking, you know. It's heartbreaking when you love somebody and you know what's good for them, but you just you you can't force nobody. You don't own nobody. Whether it's your kid, whether it's your brother, your your wifey, you you can only do you can only control yourself. You can't. At the end of the day, it's their decision. You know? Absolutely, man. And you know, I don't hold any grudges. You know what I mean? I figure. You know, he was a good dude until I was about five, and uh, you yeah, know, he was in Vietnam and 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 was it was ah. injured, and you know, so he's 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 he's, he's an older for for my age, he's an older father. You know, I think he's yeah, I, my dad is older father. Yeah, I think he's seventy. So, um, you know, he just he just wasn't dealing with 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 all the the stuff that happened in the war, and and that's where yeah. you know that's that's what happens a lot back in those days i don't think yeah. the ptsd was a real thing you know or at least well they used to shame you for that you know and they just call it shell shock like come on get over yeah. it shell yeah shock, suck you know? it up don't yeah. be a pussy yeah. you know and, and, and a lot of yeah. those guys and, turned and, to drugs yeah. and alcohol and, and of course yeah. when i was a kid you know that i was angry and i hated him and, and you know kind of was. fucked that guy but as i've gotten older and i got my own children and and all that stuff man I, I don't got any room in my heart for hate anymore you know and he made his own decisions and, and it is what it is, you know, he'll call, I'll answer, you know, and and, and it yeah. is what it is, and, and to go about my day and won't hear from him for a while until he sees me on TV and he'll call again. That's how it is, man, it's just it's part of life, I suppose, for some people. Yeah, I mean, you can imagine, you know, what that's like for me, you know, everybody coming, see me on TV. I imagine every time somebody see me on TV or the movies or, or anywhere on T-shirt or, on, you know, on Instagram me or wherever. Imagine the females, the, the, the relatives, everybody want a, a piece of the act. I can't, I can't imagine being you. Yeah, it's like I'm a piece of meat, you know. I'm, I'm, uh, for the longest time, I was just considered a sex object. Oh, that's terrible. But anyway, I don't want to get off on that. I know you want to delve into that, but let's let's stay on track, okay? I'm, I'm on track, track with you. Okay. So now, uh, what what kind of so? Okay, look, we, we we delved into the some of the negative aspects of your black father, but um, I wanted to, uh, uh, you know, I, I wanted to celebrate some of the stuff. What what what's, um, what kind of style did he have? Did he had an afro and shit like that when he was a kid? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I had a, I had a rocking afro when I was a kid. Uh, but what about your father? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what like what celebrity could you could you say your dad looked like? Because my dad, he was. You ever used to watch Sanford and Son? Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say the okay. exact same thing. Oh, for him, well, my dad looked like Hollow. You know, um, Hollow was um, uh, La Manche, uh best friend who was always trying to get him in trouble. He was like the Eddie Haskell of the yeah. show. He was always yeah. So my dad looked just like La Manche. I mean, not La Manche, uh, fucking Hollow. The guy who was always sneaky. My dad looks just like Sanford to this day. No. Yes. Also, you, you dad, even though he's black, he's uh, light skin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So my dad was more the color of, like I said, hollow. Okay, so you, that's why. So my, you, you, my dad, I, I have a little darker than you, even though uh, I'm gorgeous and stuff like that. But it's easier to tell that I have maybe some some black or some African in there. Uh, but your dad was already light skinned to begin yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a light skinned black uh, man. So now he have like a gray afro yeah. or like a gray yeah beard? both. Oh God, are you? So he looked more like Fred Sanford or looked like Grady? Fred. 
Okay. God, uh, you, I'm trying to think who's better look, Grady or Fred. Maybe it's maybe Fred. Fred was always good with the ladies. You know? For sure, that's that's exactly how my dad was. God. He's a smooth talker. Oh, my father too. God, well, you, 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 yeah. Well, those black dad. At least they gave us some the smoothness. For sure. Know? Um, they maybe didn't provide a lot of child support, which I, you know, have some issues with that today. <laughs> you know, maybe it's some of some of the the baggage that I'm holding on to. But um, so you, you, your father now, because now let, let's get into the psychology here. Because your father was kind of like a holding stone or like a. Um, Maybe somebody who who was frustrate you. Did that to leave you uh, in a place where you wanted to? Uh, uh, um, how I how I can put this uh, to to um, distance yourself from your blackness? Did you wanted to to like maybe not be associated with being black as, oh, a, as a child? Oh, first. But then I, you know, as I got a little bit older, when I, we moved to Nebraska from Colorado. Oh God, I yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, I moved to a little small town in Nebraska when I was 11. So oh. that, that, that'll that make you want to distance yourself from your blackness real quick. You know, when you're the only, well, yeah, because, only kid with any color in them yeah. in the whole school, you know. Well, because they would want to distance your teeth from your mouth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're fighting yeah. left and right. That's where the fighting began. Oh, God. I, poor guy. You come out there, you're just trying to figure shit out, and they're like, what kind of shit did they send to you? Oh, just dropping the N-bomb and... And you know, you, even though you was light skinned, they didn't they didn't had any uh, uh, they they didn't had any um, uh, sympathy. None, for none, him. man. They, it, it, you know, it was small town Nebraska. If you have a, a hint of a tan or a fat nose or curly hair, you're fucked. Who, what was you? Okay, so you always have a bald head. What well, was you well, had when I was look like? When I was then? younger, I didn't have a bald head. I I had an afro. <laughs> but wait, you even younger than me, so how 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 the afro was not in style at that time. No, no, it wasn't. So your parents just didn't didn't kept your hair looking correct. They just said fuck no, it. No, I just leave, grew, I just grew it out. I didn't know what else to do with it. I mean, I had a white mom. I had wow. a white mom. She didn't. Know. So now, what your mom look like? As white as you can get. Yeah, same here. But what, what uh, my mom? You have like uh, my mom look like uh, kind of like. A cross between Marsha Brady and like Bridget Fonda. She's like blonde hair, blue eyes. Uh, my mom, she she's short. She got short brown hair. She looks a little bit like Roseanne. Oh, she looked like Roseanne. Kind of like Roseanne. She's um, so she's kind of Hubenesque. She's more curvy. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, so a big girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, well, she's lost a hundred pounds in the last nine months. So she's she's oh, looking I, like a like a real trim Roseanne right now. Oh, okay. Like the later version of Hulk. Yeah, yeah. Well, they probably they probably got a lot in common. They probably got some animosity toward the black people. <laughs> you know, you know what? My mom told me the funniest joke I've ever heard in my whole life. Like what? Four years ago, she said, "You know what happens when you go black?" And I thought she was gonna go all gross with it. Oh and I no! Said, what? And she said, "You end up a single mom." Yeah, that's. <laughs> I mean, I heard that one before. It's not bad. It's not so bad. Funny. Hey, look, like you can't argue with the statistics. No, you okay. can't. Um. But uh, oh God, uh, you so so okay. So check me back. So now you in you in Nebraska. I mean, I don't even I don't know that I've ever even been to Nebraska. All I know is I I had a book. They made me to hit a book when I was maybe like uh, 13, 14, in 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 uh, like high school or whatever. Or, no, I was like 14. Yeah, in high school they made me hit a book called My Antonia, and it was about uh, some chick living in Nebraska who was like some kind of like Czechoslovakian refugee or some fucking shit. I remember I wanted to slit my hist while I was reading that book between her depressing stories and like her describing like the, 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 the surroundings of Nebraska. I was like, please God, never let me to have to uh, been to Nebraska. <laughs> I've never heard about that book before. Oh, my engineer. Oh, God. I... You know, as, I, and, and as I've gotten older, you know, I like it. You know, I live in Omaha now, which is a bigger, which is the biggest city in Nebraska. Um, well, that's because you marry. You married now. You, 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 you keep you on the straight and narrow. So you, you got nothing to do out there anyway. So now you, you might as well just hang out and. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Your, your dick is useless. Now. It is. God, are you? What, what? Now, how this happened? Where you met this chick? Uh, I met her uh, through a friend. 
that I went to high school with. Uh, and I actually, funny story, I was hanging out with Kevin Hart after he would. Oh, he had, Kevin Hart. Yeah, it, 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 this is this is way before Kevin Hart is the Kevin Hart that they know. Now this was Kevin Hart was broke doing shows at Funny Bones across the country in small towns. You know. Oh, he's 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 from out there. No, no, he just was at the Funny Bone here in Nebraska one time. Oh, okay. And then we just ended up kind of kind of hanging out at some club together and then one of my friends from high school I ran into her and she had had Michaela with her and, and that's how I met her ah Michaela mm -hmm. so she's now what what ethnicity is uh, Michaela she is she's mixed she's white and Native American oh no shit okay so what kind of look does she have like Pocahontas but really tall oh god I have Pocahontas yeah oh And and you guys, so you guys was got together, and you was uh, she was smoking peace pipey, <laughs> yeah. and then you guys, you guys uh, have a relationship there, yeah. and uh, and so you've been together for how long here? Nine years. Nine years. That's a long time. Yeah. You. So this is the real deal. Yeah, now. it's a real deal. It's Poker Hatch. What's the song from there? A whole new world. Uh, I don't know. Or something like that. Know. Or it's a talk about the blue corn moon or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a place in Nebraska. Yeah. <laughs> so say, uh, have you ever seen the light-skinned lion hodge? <laughs> the blue corn moon? Something, something like, like that. that. The light-skinned moon. The light skin, yeah. The, the, uh, the pale moon. skin. Yeah. She call you pale face. <laughs> pale face. <laughs> She does. Pale face look fine. She makes me tame. Pale face look fine as hell. Yeah, she make you to be tame. She Oh, because she wants you to look black? Yeah, because I look so white on TV all the time when I fight. So now now let me ask you this, because I would be remiss if we don't deal with uh, your, your skin color here, okay? Because we're talking about light skin. Yeah. So now, so now, am I not the only person now? It's not, nobody talk about you being a black fighter, you know? People, you know, because people always want to put a labels on people. You know, it's how you kind of categorize people. Say, that guy's Brazilian. That guy's uh, wherever the fuck he's from. Or, you know, that guy's an uh, English fighter, you yeah. know? Whatever, whatever. So, you know, people don't discuss you into the you know with the in fact i probably took away some of your fans because there was probably some guys is hooting against uh john jones because he's black and now they don't they yeah they don't know what the fuck to do now <laughs> probably i probably just lost instagram followers god I, you you never know you probably your your stock is plummeting my brother <laughs> this is black black friday or whatever or light skin friday um but you know um yeah one time i was in the deep south and i was watch uh Uh, um, the title fight with uh, Chiron Woodley against um, against uh, fucking what was um, Hobby Lawler, yeah. and <laughs> the whole I was the only person, and not because he's black, but because you know he's a friend of mine, you know Chiron. I I call him Chai Hong, uh, even though he's called Chai. Um, but uh, the, I was the only fucking guy in there hooting for him, and the whole bar. It, the whole fucking bar was going against him and then as soon as he fucking knock out Hobby Lala the fucking place cleared out it was like a ghost town and they looked like somebody died like, it was like a funeral <laughs> procession and I was laughing to myself I thought I was gonna get killed because as soon as he did that I was like oh shit I jump up and it was like people was looking at me like you know too soon my too, brother, soon. too soon too soon yeah and, and the funny thing about it I was laughing to myself is that first of all I'm a big Hobby Lala fan anyway it was just you know I know Chiron better and, and I felt it was Chiron's time or whatever mm -hmm. but you know to me it was funny because you know a lot of people don't know this like Hobby Lawler is like half Filipino is he? yeah did you know that? I no mean, when, next time you look at that guy first of all look how changed he's he is and, you know look Yeah, look his eyes and everything. I mean, when now that I'm telling you this, look at him and you'll see. It's just that, you know, he's from wherever, Iowa, where the fuck he's from. Yeah. And he have a certain way he talks, so people assume, assume he's a white dude. But it's just funny to me, the, the perception of... of, of yeah, that's people. funny. I, I didn't... I, I, you know? I, yeah. I'll just fucking ask him. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, you just, Hopefully you, there's a punch me in the yeah, face. And, No, he's a he's a nice guy. I've met him, and he's he's a lot smaller than you think. You you you're gonna be surprised how much bigger you are than him. Huh. That's crazy. Yeah, when you see him in real life, you he, he he's you, fighting on the you, same court as me. I'll have to I'll be able to see him. Well, don't tell him that I I was I was hooting for Chiron because now I feel bad. No, I'm not gonna, to be honest. No. 
To be honest, I, I, I always like Hobby Lola a lot, but you know, sometimes it's like, it's like this, like Adesanya is going to fight uh, Anderson Silva. I'm a big fan of Anderson Silva. I've always been. But, you know, it's like, Adas, you know, Anderson Silva's had his charm. He's had a lot of wins. He's done, he's done it all. He's one of, arguably, the GOAT. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, it's like, I would like to see Adesanya have a chance. Right. You know? So it's like, it's like if I hoot for him, I feel bad. But you know, to be honest, I I want I don't want to see the, him de hail this young kid who's who's who knows what could be uh, next. For right. Him, you know? Right. No, I agree. Yeah. You know. Um. But uh, okay. So check me back. So now now you in you in uh you in like uh we're back in in Nebraska. You're 11 years old. Whatever. You got an afro. How the fuck you learned to fit in? You started to fighting. Did you know how to fight? Did you just throw out? Did you just, just stick up for yourself? Did you get your ass kicked at first? No, I just, how did it work? I just out? started sticking up for myself, and I just start. Eventually, you just get sick of that shit. You just start. You start breaking noses, you know. And and, and I just had a real yeah. short temper there for a long time because I just got sick of it. Yeah. And, and, and over time, they started to leave me alone, and 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 then I kind of and then I started competing in sports, and I started wrestling, and and. Uh, playing football and, and here in Nebraska, if you're good at one of those two things, you're pretty much uh, gonna fit yes. in anywhere. So, and, and what what position in football? Defensive end. So a corn husk. So you from uh okay, no no Nebraska? What what kind of people they call that Nebraska people? That's not corn. That's that's somewhere else. No, yeah, the corn huskers. Oh wait, what's the one that's known for corn? Nebraska. Nebraska. Oh okay, because I'm thinking of Idaho is the one with some potato. Yeah 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 yeah. Uh, I wish you had been there. I, I prefer Pacheco, <laughs> but that's that's either here and there. Um, so okay, so then, uh, so and and you in high school now. You 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 starting to now you starting to get some pussy. What's happening? Like what was the you you're on the teams and you got you got you know things are starting to you starting to make some friend. You you broke a couple noses. You you won a couple uh, games. What's happening now? What kind of what, what? There's not a lot of black guys in school. No, now. no, not at all. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of part of the popular group, you know, like there's like two popular groups in my school. It was like the popular kids that were like preppy and got the good grades and, and whatever. And then there was like the athletes that, that party too on the weekends and kind of did our own thing and hanging out with the girls. And that was kind of the group I was in. And, and, and then, uh, you know, I started kind of fucking off in high school and partying. I started partying too much. Myself too. Yeah, I partied real yeah. hard and I ended up dropping out my senior year. Oh, no shit. Wait, so you never finished no, high school? No, I didn't finish high school. I got my GD. Interesting, my brother. Yeah, I, you know, it's, it, I had the opposite. It's like I fucked up. I got kicked out of school in, in, in eighth grade. Uh, and and um, and I was off. <laughs> I was going to have to repeat. Um, I, like, not only did I, I got busted. First, I got kicked out because I threw an ice cream sandwich at, at the principal and hit him in the back of the head. And, and a fucking, a, a fucking uh, kid choked on me. A kid had me out. Uh, he was a, nothing against Asian kids, but he was an Asian kid with good grade, and he choked on me. <coughs> what a um, snitch. And then, yeah, a snitch. But then, um, I don't know if I can find, I was going to try to, to, to post this so people can, can see that, you know, to not give up on their kids when they're fucking mm -hmm. up. But I had for the longest time, and I can't find the fucking thing, I had my eighth grade hip hop card from the end of the year. I had, guess what? You know how grade point average yeah. work? Well, guess what grade point average that I had? Think of a low one. Like 2.1. Go lower. <laughs> like a 1.5? Go lower. Did it, I can, did it get lower? Yeah. So I my shit was point one. Oh fuck. And what that is is that is that is uh O F and one D. And the D was in uh, 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 physical education because the guy liked me, Mr. Simon or Simon. And uh, we uh yeah, so I and one of the reasons is because I had like over two hundred absences. So I would just maybe go to home home or whatever and then I would just play hooky and go out with my friends and, and do hood hatch. Yeah, that's what I did. You know, I would yeah. I'd show yeah. up and I my mom would drop me off at school and then I'd just wait till one of my buddies pulled up and we just jump in and we'd start hanging out all day. Boom. Yeah, smoking marijuana, yeah, drinking uh, going to the 
you are going to the store and stealing uh, beef jerkies and uh, porno magazines and and doing all kinds of fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And and we was like um, Chom Sawyer, Mark, Tw you know, um, uh, Huckleberry Finn. We were just out there fucking around. For sure, you know? me too. Um, but you know the the thing is that then I had to I got sent to my grandma for a year and to straighten me out you know and 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 so i never did graduate in eighth grade uh but we pretend with the high school that i did we said we can't find the transcript so they said so they didn't make me to repeat because i was like fuck that shit. <laughs> but but in any case you know i i ended up to to finishing high school but it, you know it was a it was a hockey star right. and my mom poor my poor mom you know she's just trying to she was a nurse so she's working fucking holy shit you know that's crazy so is my mom you mama yeah. nurse? Oh no shit. Yeah, well, wh uh, white ladies who is uh, abandoned by the black, <laughs> no. and 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 is go to a, a life of that. But she was also she was a dropout and she got her GED and became a nurse. You know, she had a hard life, you know, and figured shit out. But uh, I digest. She, um, the poor woman was working like sometimes, you know fucking you know 18 hour day and then and then come home and then to make extra money stay on call you know what mm -hmm. i mean so she's just sleeping for a couple hours and she was all fucked up trying to make some money and my fucking ass is out there doing god knows what but right see what my technique was i would steal the hip card like uh when it would came home i would take it and throw it away you know and then and then um, finally, when the parent requests the hip hop card, then what they do is they take a Xerox uh, copy, which I don't know how they do in these days, but this was before a uh, computer, you know, uh, before a heel computer, you know. So everything was just, you know, manual. So they took a Xerox and they send you home with the Xerox and they tell your parent, we're sending him home with the physical one. So because it was Xerox though, I would took that one and you know how I had all those, uh, those F's and those D's? Yeah. And the D, it, you know, an F, an F can be easy for me to change that one, for me to change that one into a B. For sure. You understand? Yeah. And then you can also use a whiteout and fix stuff. And then you go to a Kinko and you, he copy because it was already a copy anyway. It was not the original. So I give to my mommy and she goes, oh, you're doing good. You know, you deserve an ice cream cone or whatever. I say, hey, mom, you know. I'm just trying my best, <laughs> but in reality, the poor lady, you know, come to find out that I was flunked out of school for her. Kind of no, no. But enough about you, Uncle Hanan. I want you to subscribe. 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 Hey, I'm not joking about that subscribe, okay?